In this video, we will install cPanel on an OVH VPS. This OVH VPS have cPanel and CentOS 7 already installed. CentOS 7 is released on July 2014. That is like 6 years old now. I need the latest OS on this server. The latest CentOS 8 is no longer supported. So we, we need to install CentOS 8, then convert it to Alma Linux 8. After that, we need to install cPanel. Click on the three dots on the right side of OS distribution. Then reinstall my VPS. From the drop down, we need, we don't have any Alma Linux or other operating system here. So only option is CentOS 8. So we will go with the CentOS 8, but CentOS 8 is already in nearing end of life. So we will, once CentOS 8 installed, we will convert it to Alma Linux. We can have an SSH key here or we will get password by email. Click on confirm. OVH is installing CentOS 8 on the VPS now. OVH have completed installation of CentOS 8. Let's refresh this page to see if the OS get changed to CentOS 8. Now the OS distribution is CentOS 8. Let us SSH into the server. This is the IP address. Copy the IP address. Take the terminal. To connect to the server, enter the command SSH send OS at the rate IP address. Ask for key validation. Type yes and press enter. Now you need to enter the password for the server. Once the VPS installation is completed, OVH will send you an email with server login details. Enter the password you get from the OVH email. Now you are logged in as user CentOS. To see which user you are logged in, you can use who are my command. To become user root, run the command sudo su. Let's verify the operating system cat etc star release. We are using CentOS Linux 8. We will convert this to Alma Linux. I have previously made a video on how to convert CentOS 8 to Alma Linux. The instructions are in this page. I will put the link in the description. The first command you need to run is dnf update. This will update all the software on the CentOS 8 installation. We only have one package to update. Go back and now we have to reboot. Reboot at the server. Server reboot will take approximately two minutes. Let us try connect back to the server. Again, switch to user root, sudo su. Next, we need to run these two commands. You can copy both the command or one by one. First command will download this file. If you run the command ls-l, you will see the file. Alma Linux deploy.sh. Next, you need to run the command bash Alma Linux deploy.sh. It is better run this command inside screen or tmux. TMUX command is not installed, so let us install it with the DNF install TMUX minus Y. Start a TMUX session. Let us run the Alma Linux deploy script bash Alma Linux hyphen deploy dot sh. This script will take approximately 15 minutes to finish. You don't need to do anything. It will do everything by itself. I will pause the video until the installation is completed. The script is completed. Now you need to run dnf distro sync minus y. After we run dnf distro sync minus y, we need to reboot the server again. Reboot. Let's connect back to the server. SSH send OS at the rate server IP. Enter the password. Switch to user root. Sudo. SU. Let's check the OS version with the command cat etc star release. 
we are now using Alma Linux 8.4. Next, we need to install cPanel. Before we install cPanel, let us check the disk usage. df-h, we have slash partition with 160 GB. The partition looks good. To install cPanel, you can find installation instruction at server okay dot in cpanel hyphen server click on cpanel server setup install cpanel control panel link click on the link to install cpanel you need to run this command as user root copy the command go back to the terminal and paste the command press enter this installation will take approximately 30 minutes i will post the video now and resume once the installation is completed cPanel installation is now completed. You will get the login link here. You can use this link to log into WHM control panel. Let's copy this link and go to the URL. This is self-signed SSL, so you need to accept the warning. Click on advanced. Proceed to IP address unsafe. The username is root. We don't know the root password, so let us set the password for user root. PASSWD. Now we need to enter the password. Repeat the password. We have set password for user root. Let us log in with that password. When you log into WHM for the first time, it will show the legal documents. Click on agree to all. Enter your email address and the name service. I will set this later. For now, I will click on finish. We are now logged into WHM. To see the side menu, click on this hamburger icon. After cPanel installed, you need to do the basic configuration. I will make another video on how to configure WHM. Hope you find the video useful. If you like the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.